Hi, I'm Jamie from uh, ZeroLight, and we're here um, demonstrating the very latest in automotive visualization technology. We're really honored to have the Mitsubishi Outlander 2025 model on our platform. And what you're seeing here is um, effectively what we do best. Um, we have product um, configurators in multiple modes. So here you can see our 2D static image on demand configurator, which effectively lets a user walk around a vehicle in real time and they're able to switch through different configurations, um, look at different trims, and it's very, very responsive, very, very fast. All powered by the AWS backend as well. We use an AWS G5 service for this. Um, from there, um, the ZeroLight platform reads buying signals and moves them into 3D if they are really, really engaged. So here you can see that it's much more interactive. The user can zoom in, zoom out, and learn more about the products that they are wanting to buy. Um, however, what we're here demonstrating today is um, effectively how we can take um, a vehicle, a digital twin, and visualize different components of it, and also use Gen AI to um, hyper-personalize the customer experience. So we can hop through to different camera angles of the vehicle, for example, move around. We can hop through to accessories. We can visualize those accessories. So an automotive brand can effectively upsell um, right here on their website using 3D visualization of different formats. From here, the customer can choose to add these accessories in real time. So you can see that that roof rail is straight on there and they can understand more about that product, more about why they should buy it. The Gen AI component of this is um, called Scout AI. And what we're doing here is saying, okay, we can have an environment such as this that may reflect a key demographic, key lifestyle. But what, what about if we want to hyper-personalize that experience? So if we have a customer, say, um, in Japan, and we don't have that sort of creative uh, media available instantly, Gen AI can support that. A creative professional um, can easily use AI to, to generate that content. So I can position the vehicle here, like so. And instead of having to type out a really long text prompt, all I'm gonna do is just select a, a series of prompts here. Um, so we can use the location, say for example, Japan. Uh, we can use the time of day, we'll say sunrise, and we'll just generate that prompt. Um, and all that the system is doing now is we're using a large language model to create a narrative that's then going to be passed on to a um, AI platform. Um, it can be any AI platform, it's completely agnostic. Um, all of our solutions are device agnostic, engine agnostic, so they're highly scalable, future-proof, etc. Um, so as you can see, that text prompt's now been created. Um, if I'm happy with that, uh, I can then say create AI backdrop. That's now generating that backdrop again in real time. It's all powered by the AWS cloud. Um, just in the same way that you can stream a film to your computer or to your TV, um, it's working in exactly the same format. Um, so that's just working away now. And as you can see, we've now got a selection of four images. So whichever one of these best represents the customer that we're wanting to target. So we can say, all right, I'm happy with image number one. I think that's really, really great for what we want to use. We can then generate the lighting. And in order to protect the product correctness of this, this vehicle, we're not passing this vehicle off to the AI platform that we're using in the background. We're protecting the product correctness by sending camouflage model across the AI platform. Um, and all that's happening here is that we are now basically setting up the reflections and cleaning up the back plate and making sure it looks as though it's at one with this environment. So that's just going to take a couple of seconds to kick in. And you see that's just updated in a couple of minutes. From there, you can save the image. A customer or a creative can input all of this sort of stuff into something like a personalized digital takeaway um, in which a user can scan it with their mobile device, create, they can view um, personalized content such as um, augmented reality models to place the vehicle on their driveway. Um, they can see this image again, um, personalized to their name, etc., cetera, um, and view um, assets that effectively represent their choice of vehicle. We have got a, a selection of images that we've created previously. So again, representing different lifestyles, demographics, locations, anything from snow in England, for example, which we've just left, um, right through to sort of forests in autumn, rainy sort of mountain passes. So again, just targeting different people, different locations, different choices of product, really, really simple with Scout AI.